For everybody, I don't know what I understand. There's 144 uh, members of the elect, but I keep on seeing it everywhere. We've seen it for the last couple of weeks now. Um, but if I was to give my own interpretation to it, I mean, it, it is to say that the elect are sealed and it's been decided, and um, whatever's kind of happened now is going to kick off. But um, let me know what you think. I'll finish off this scripture. Bow down thine ear to me, deliver me speedily. I saw it. Um, <laughs> I saw it in the, what did I see? I see it on the time. I see it on the price of petrol. <laughs> People see it everywhere. Oh, diesel, rather. Bow down thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou, thou my strong rock for a house of defense to save me. And this is this is where we're coming into, we're coming into Jacob's trouble. But as we know, the prophecies must happen in order. The MOTB must come first. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me. And guide me, pull me out of the net that they that they have laid privily for me. You know, so um, privately, secretly, Esau has been planning to do you dirty. In case that's the new flash, in case you didn't know, um, he's been poisoning your food. He's been poisoning your music. He's been poisoning your culture. Um, and the idea is. To get you to be so disgusting that vile that you could not be possibly be uh, worthy of the inheritance, and then him with his slightly interesting interpretation of the scriptures can come and take your place, but that's never going to happen. Um, pull me out of thine of the net that I, they have laid privily for me for that my strength. But now I'm going to get try and find that uh, the sun. second Sure, if I'll be able to find the scripture I'm looking for. Um, Samuel 12 and 22. The Lord will not forsake his people, and that's uh, for his name's sake, for his great name's sake, because it has pleased the Lord to make you his people. So he said it, and that's why, and for his own name, because he, he put his name on it, he put his name on it. Like you know, that's on my name, so that he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna forsake it. Uh, there's so many psalms that are saying, "Please don't forsake me," and this is what we should be. Praying for continually, and as we come into these times, not to be, we don't want to be that one um, that Yahweh that we turn to the house shy and say, "Lord, Lord," as it says in Luke, and then He says, "You know, uh, be gone. I never knew you."
Isaiah 41 and 17, when the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. I will forsake, uh, I, I, the Lord, God of Israel, will not forsake them. Let me find the scripture that I'm looking for. So, Jeremiah 30. I just looked it up. I asked the AI, actually. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 31, 35. Thus saith the Lord, which gives us the sun for a light by day, and the ordinance of the moon and the stars for a light by night, which is the fight of the sea with the waves that ro thereof roar. The Lord of hosts is his name. In his ordinance depart. If those ordinances depart from before me, saith the Lord, and the seed of Israel shall also cease from being a nation before me forever. Thus saith the Lord God, If heaven can be measured, and the foundation of the earth can be searched out beneath, I will also cast off the seed of Israel for all that they have done, saith the Lord. And let's carry on. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that the city shall be built to the Lord from the tower of Han Hananiel unto the gate of the, of the corner. And the measuring line shall yet go forth against it and upon the hill of Gareb, and shall compass about to go up. And the whole valley of the dead bodies and of the ashes. And we talked about the, um, the valley of the shadow of death, and then in Ezekiel 37 as well. And the whole valley of the dead bodies and under the ashes of the fields and unto the book of Kidron, unto the corner of the gate, horse gate, to the towards the east shall be holy unto the Lord. It shall not be plucked up nor thrown down any more forever. So, the Lord is going to redeem his people. That's, that's a fact. Uh, one for four, that, that, that gate is so closed. It's just a sliver. I, I, you know, if it's not closed already, I keep on seeing one for four. It's, I'm getting the vibes that it's, it's done. Uh, and, and we're moving into the time of Jacob's trouble. That's in Jeremiah 50. Uh, Jeremiah 49. Seven concerning Ethan, thus saith the Lord of hosts, is the wisdom no more in Teman? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? Flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of Eden, for I will bring calamity of Esau upon him. The time that I will in the time the time that I will visit him. If the great gravers come to thee, would they not leave some glean in the grapes? If these by night they will destroy till they had they will destroy till they have enough. But I have made Esau bare, I have uncovered his secret places. He shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbours, and he is not. So, a lot of things is, is, is uncovered. His seed is spoiled. That means he's got no future, you know. The people that are <laughs> are going to inherit whatever scraps that they've, well, they're probably going to go into slavery in the first, in the first instance. But a lot of them are going to um, perish in the War of Armageddon. If not by the famines and the uh, and the pestilences that are yet to come, and the fire, leave thy fatherless children. I preserve them alive, and let thy widows trust in me. For thus saith the Lord: Behold, the, whole, the they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken, and thou art he that shall altogether go unpunished. Yeah, these have been putting away his um, putting off his his punishment forever, even from the day of Cain. You know, it's always been, oh, please let me up, let me off, you know, and, uh, oh, yeah, okay, I'll make you a vagabond, I'll put a mark upon you so nobody um, comes, you know, will kill you, find you and kill you. Kills, uh, I mean, attempts to kill uh, Jacob, finds that he's, that, that the inheritance that he's rightfully sold to his brother has been taken rightfully. But then it attempts to it plots to kill him, and then when he can't do that, cries again. Okay, all right, okay. Let me give you one small. Let me pass you that small blessing of the sword, and and say that you'll you know you'll be able to break the yoke off 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 his neck, off your neck for for a short time. But now you know, and, and 
again, Herod trying to kill um, Yahweh Shai and all, killing all the Israelite babies, the destruction of the temple when Edom was there with the Romans um, saying, raise it, raise it. All these things, you just, you just slide out. Like no punishment. But the thing is, what Esau didn't doesn't know is that the Lord is righteous. Everybody will get what they deserve. And he's he's got yeah, he's got he's got all of that payment, all the, the wickedness he's been doing, plus plus some. You know, because of, of what he'd done to the apple of the Lord's eye and and, and what he'd done to the temple, how he desecrated the temple. How he tried to cut off Israel from from Yahweh. So he's got a lot to answer for. And his payment is all, and the, and and the price at the moment is going to be ultimate destruction at the hands of Yahweh. Like, you know, it says in the scriptures, "Fear not those that can kill the body, but that can also kill the soul." He ain't he he ain't going to be coming back in the reincarnation. That's going to be it. That's that's permanent. That's the real death. You might even call that the second death, although that's not the interpretation that we're given. But you know, that's another form of second death. You know, you you can you can kill the body and you can you can go around the roundabout and come back around again. You kill the soul, that's it. That's a wrap. Anyway, with that I'd like to say shallow one.